Hello everyone, good afternoon, welcome back to the channel. I'm sorry it's been a couple of weeks. I've just been on holiday recently, went to uh, Northern Ireland, uh, went to the Game of Thrones exhibition, which was really cool. So, uh, getting straight back to these collection videos, this is going to be a quick bar video, as fast as I can do it anyway. Starting things off on shelf number 10, we've got The Girl With All The Gifts. Here we've got Gladiator. The one and only Godfather collection. So in this box set, of course, you've got all three films in the trilogy. The classic trilogy, that is. Uh, and disc four is just, uh, as it says, supplements and special features and whatnot. The Godfather is swiftly followed by another film about the Italian Mafia. This is Gomorrah. Next up, we've got David Fincher's Gone Girl. This is the edition with the... Uh, the Amazing Amy book. Here we've got the South Korean film The Good, The Bad, The Weird. Don't let the title put you off. This is an awesome film. Here we've got the Artificial Eye release of Good Time. Next up we've got one of Scorsese's best films, Goodfellas. This is the uh, 4K restoration version. Next up is Robert Altman's Gosford Park, released by Arrow Academy. Next up we've got The Grandmaster. From the Studio Ghibli collection we've got Grave of the Fireflies. Great film. Slightly mixed opinions from horror fans on this one. I, I did actually enjoy it. It's uh, The Green Inferno. One of Tom Hanks' best roles and one of Frank Darabont's best films, The Green Mile. A film that got a lot of acclaim recently. This is Green Room. A relatively recent pickup. This is Green Street or Green Street Hooligans as it was released in Australia. The one and only 80s classic Gremlins. Grindhouse, the Robert Rodriguez, Quentin Tarantino double feature, uh, of course, uh, featuring Death Proof and Planet Terror. The 88 Films release of Grizzly, Groundhog Day, awesome film. This is a uh, neat little Korean horror film called The Guard Post. The, uh, the Marvel must-haves uh, in anyone's collection, Guardians of the Galaxy and Volume 2 as well. The Guest. Gun Woman, this is a Absolutely crazy Japanese film. Hachi, A Dog's Tale. Possibly the only film in the last 20 years to actually make me cry. Love this film. The impressive Hacksaw Ridge from Mel Gibson. And the original Halloween from, of course, the legend John Carpenter. And finishing off this shelf, we've got three large collections from Indicator. These are the Hammer House of Horror film collections, volume 1, 2 and 3. I'll just uh, break them down now. So in volume 1, Fear Warning, we have... Maniac. The Gorgon. The Curse of the Mummy's Tomb and Fanatic. So in Volume 2, Criminal Intent, we have The Snorkel, Never Take Sweets from a Stranger, The Full Treatment, and Cash on Demand. And then in Volume 3, Blood and Terror, we have the Camp on Blood Island, Yesterday's Enemy, The Stranglers of Bombay, and finally The Terror of the Tongs. So there we have it, and that leads us to the end of this video as well. Uh, I have heard that there is going to be a Volume 4 released at some point. Looking forward to that one because I absolutely love Hammer Horror films.
Okay, so that about wraps things up for this video. So please join me next time. I will try and get some more videos out much quicker now. Uh, back in work so I can film them when I get home afterwards. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.